Hello again. Um, I have several designs for making balloon powered uh, racers. Um, um, the simplest one can be done by year, year one and two. Um, this is the most complex uh, of my designs and I do this with year five and six. Uh, it has two separate elements. We're going to make a body out of card using this net that I've designed here. And um, we're going to make a chassis out of 8mm uh, by 8mm square section wood. Um, let's start on the body first of all. Um, before we do, before we cut out the uh, design, uh, we've got some fold lines here and I always score fold lines. I find it makes it much easier to fold up. I'm using a safety ruler and uh, a small screwdriver here and I'm just scratching along quite hard along the dotted line with the screwdriver. When I'm using nets with uh, younger children um, I score the lines beforehand. Thankfully with year five and six I can get I can get them to do it. I'll just do that one there and then there's one across here. Um, something that I do do beforehand is um, this hole here is going to be where the uh, exhaust uh, pipe comes out and um, I get a craft knife and I cut along these lines here to create a sort of a flower shape so that when we push the uh, piece of tubing through that the balloon's connected to they will open up. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Don't push your finger all the way through because it will actually trap your finger. Um, one last thing that I do is they do have to cut this hole out here at the top so to make it a bit easier for them I just do two cuts there and then that allows them to get the, the scissors in to cut that hole out. So we can then cut out the shape and there's the net for the body cut out. Uh, we'll just cut that hole out now. It's much easier to do it now than when it's um, fixed to the chassis. Doesn't need to be cut out accurately. There we are. And now we can start to um, fold up the net very easily because we've scored the dotted lines. You can see how easily it's folding up. Fold over these tabs here. And these flaps here I like to put inside. I think it looks tidier. And we can secure those with sticky tape or with a glue gun. I've got a glue gun handy here. There we go. And make sure that that's tucked in. Um, with this design, as I'm working with year five and six, it does need. Uh, to be made quite accurately. So we'll tuck that one in as well. We've now got, we can now punch out the four holes that the uh, axles are going to go through. Again, try and do this carefully to ensure that the chassis fits the body. And there we are, that's the um, completed body of the jet racer. Um, put my name on it. There we go. Okay, next we're going to start work on the um, chassis. And um, the pupils have to cut up some uh, square section wood, it's 8, eight by 8 millimeter square section wood. And they have to cut up three pieces using uh, a mini saw and a bench hook, um, 12 centimetres, 8 centimetres and 6 centimetres long. So that's three pieces, 12, 8 and 6 centimetres long. And then these are glued together to form this shape. So I'll just quickly do that. Put that on, make sure it doesn't stick to the worktop. I'm judging it by eye. You could, I could, of course, use the ruler to find 
halfway point. There we go. And um, that's quite strong, but we're going to reinforce those joints using card triangles. We're going to put one card triangle like that and the other one down there. So we'll just quickly glue those on. I'll try and do both at the same time. There's one and there's two. Now I don't know if you can see this card triangle is a little bit too big uh, for this end so I'm just going to trim off those those two corners there. So that's the, uh, the chassis well underway. We're now going to glue two jumbo straws onto each end of the chassis. It's glued on the, not on the card triangle side but on the on the wood side like that. Try and get them straight. You could use sticky tape. Let's try and do both of them at the same time. Glue the whole straw on. There we go, try and get them parallel. And then we're going to cut the straws back to leave um, more about two centimetres sticking out beyond the, the wood. Okay, we did cut the There we are. Um, that's the completed uh, chassis. We can now fit that into the, into the body and this is where we find out if our uh, measuring uh, is accurate. Um, you, may, you may notice that uh, one end is wider than the other. Uh, this is the back of the racer and the uh, narrow end, this is the front. So that's the back and that's the front. Um, it doesn't really matter which way round it goes. For some reason I like to put it with the straws at the bottom. So let's see if this is going to fit the tension builds. Don't worry if it doesn't fit, you can just make the holes bigger with a hole punch. So there we are. What a relief. The um, chassis fits, fits the body really well. Um, I've left the straws sticking out because I don't want the wheels to rub on the side. Perhaps they don't have to stick out quite that much. Trim them back a little bit. And now we can fit the wheels. Can you, uh, I'm going to use some MDF, large MDF wheels here with a um, 4mm dowel. I think I can just push that in. Could of course use a hammer if necessary. Um, I've got one axle is longer than the other so that it will go through the straw and still have enough to go onto the other wheel. I think I will use a hammer now. I'll just tap that on. Push it together a little bit more but um, always leave a gap to make sure that the wheels spin really easily. Um, air powered vehicles do not have a lot of force so we need to give them as much help as we can. We now do the front axle through the straw and tap that one on. When I'm working with you, a, class, a whole class of year 5 and 6, this activity takes 90 minutes. So there we are, we've got a, a nice um, rolling jet racer here. And to power it we're going to use um, a, a balloon. And we're going to fit the balloon onto a piece of uh, PVC tubing. It does have to be quite a large diameter. Um, this is to allow the um, air to, to, to escape fast enough to create a force. So we pass the tubing down through the hole and then out through the uh, exhaust that we made earlier. That should open up. There we go. Try not to tear the card. There we go. Like that. And if you can see that. And now we can fit the balloon on. Should be a, it should stay on hopefully. And that's our finished jet racer. Uh, let's see if we've got some movement here. Oh! <laughs> ah. 
Isn't it always way? Let's get another balloon. Well, that's woken everybody up. There we go. Right, let's try again. I find that um, year five and six can blow the balloon up. Um, let's see if it's working. Yes, we've got quite a lot of force there. Um, well, I hope you have better luck with your balloons than I have. And I hope you enjoy making uh, this balloon-powered jet racer.